What's good, internet dwellers? My name is Camera Sadia Hakim. I am from Phoenix, Arizona. I graduated from Arizona State with a BA in Global Studies. I've been in the PRC for three weeks now. Like, it's a thing. I'm a resident of China. You know, having this like brilliant educational experience with Amazon Foundation in Shanghai for a week, you know, getting TIFL certified, that was just like an enthralling experience. Right now I am walking through the Songjiang district in Shanghai where our hotel is located. And like meeting people from all over the world, uh, mostly Europe and the States who like also came out here for their own reasons. The whole experience was just so whimsical, you know, it was just like a bunch of Westerners coming together to like make a difference in the world and share their passions and learn how to teach English to uh, ESL learners. It was it was really great. So I live in a suburb type city. So I'm really looking like on time off to be able to travel outside of the suburb and like really see the surrounding areas and like what they have to offer. Because so far it kind of just feels like I just like moved to like a new city and I'm just like living there, you know? I don't really feel that like that travel vibe and like maybe that's what it's supposed to feel like. I live here, I live in the PRC. The school that I teach at, it's the Shuguang Century School. So when I first got here, I was really disappointed by the quality of my apartment. The apartments at the new campus aren't finished yet. I move into my new apartment, hopefully October 1st, that's what I've been told. This was my first week of teaching and, and that was really crazy, like going into a classroom of 45, 12 year olds. <laughs> And like having them be like oh my god is that a human being with their eyes and like it was it was extremely fascinating to me to like to be there and like to have them like never see a foreigner in their life so my first day teaching english actually went extremely well i had heard stories like don't do this do that this works, this doesn't work, they're not gonna do this, they're going to do that. And so I was just like having all these anxieties built up about how my first day was gonna go. I put together this small PowerPoint about my family, where I'm from, the places that I've traveled to, the things that I do, and I like built a vocabulary list based off of those different things. And that went so well. I had this beautiful experience actually yesterday, Friday, um, where I had a picture of me with my two little siblings and we were all smiling, so I put the word smile next to our heads. I, I kept, I asked them, I was like, when do you smile? When do you smile? And they would say back to me, when do you smile? What? And I'm like, no, no, like, it's a question I'm asking you. So I wrote when on the board with a question mark and they're like, I'm like when? And they're, you know, they're, they're copying me. They're like, when, when? And they're trying to figure it out. And I said, you smile when you're happy. Very good. And so throughout the whole class, I kept asking, when do you smile? And like, they finally caught on and they were so excited to answer it right. So I said, when do you smile? And they say, when do you happy? And like, I just kept repeating it and, you know, building off of that repetition mindset, but in a positive way to help them connect ideas between an action and what it means. It, I was just like, yes, yes, yes. All of the Chinese teachers are so sweet to me. They're so kind. They're always telling me how beautiful I am. They're sh always sharing their food, trying to speak English with me. It, it's just really sweet. Um, and that's another challenge I face is like the language barrier. Like I'm gonna have to learn Mandarin. Even like meeting local people outside of school has been really fascinating because they just want to get to know who I am. Hi. Hi. You know, like they like, why are you in China? Like, you know, what are you doing here? Like what, what brings you to my home? I'm super grateful to be in China and I can't wait to see where I'll be three months from now, six months from now, a year from now. It's going to be incredible. It's going to be epic. Bye-bye. Okay,